So right now we are at my favorite park, Hammock Park, over in Dunedin. And I uh, figured we hit up some trails and I'll show you how good these boots are in this kind of environment. So I figured I'd kick things off with one of my favorite uh, parts of the park. It's a wooden little walkway. It's more connected towards uh, the beach. There's a small stream. I'm think that is uh, to the main ocean. I also mostly like this part because uh, you can find a lot of marsh rabbits in these areas. This is my probably my favorite time of the day to um, go for a walk around these parts just because you know it's not too hot. You get a really decent view of the sunrise and all the animals are still out. Oh, looks like I got a little fern coming up. Let's see if he'll actually uh, get a little bit closer. Oh wow, it's pretty cool. <laughs> He's right there. He's right over here just chilling and watching me. All right, so that was a pretty fun encounter with a squirrel. It seemed really friendly. And one of the things that I really, really like about this park is like, there is an abundance of wildlife. You will find so much different kinds of animals here, lots of different bird species, um, rabbits, you got marsh and swamp rabbits, you've got the squirrels as we've just seen. Now that we're at much more softer ground, I think this would be a perfect opportunity for me to talk to you guys about the Lem's boots, Chelsea's specifically. They have some decent grooving, but I've still slipped or lost my, my, my footing every now and then. In places where there's snow, and mud and all sorts of just sleek places i don't really think you're gonna get like the best kind of uh kind of tread for your boots so i've actually been going to this park for um close to a year now uh, originally i was assigned this task in one of my classes to go to a local park and examine some plants wildlife uh, birds fish things like that and um, I thought what better place to go than to local park uh, with wildlife, plant life that I'm familiar with. And um, I went with my girlfriend the first few times and then I just, I fell in love with the park. It became something of a ritual, something of a routine. I've embedded it into my lifestyle where I just go for a few hours and walk around a bit and it's really it really helps i would say it is therapeutic for the most part all right so what we have here is the hammock park map um as you could see this is over here is where we started made our way over here this is where that squirrel was that bridge this is the marshlands the pines and we made our way over here and so now we're on the main trail which is connected to a good majority of all of the trails that we'll be walking today. Now, a fun little fact about uh, Dunedin is that we have our own coffee. We have our own coffee plants here. Um, it is the Psychotria nervosa, which is actually different from the typical coffee that we use, the coffee plants that we ground. Um, they have these nice glossy red when fully grown. Um, seeds. You can actually eat these, but uh, you will get a different type of reaction. Uh, reportedly, some people will get headaches, um, nausea. They are very deadly to dogs and other animals. And we finally reached Palm Trail, which way we can go either left or right of. And I think we're going to go right because over here is where the Fern Trail is connected. And it's actually one of my other favorite parts of this park. One thing I really should emphasize about the Lens Chelsea boots is just how damn comfortable they are, right? Like, they are, I believe, zero drop or barefoot. I don't know if those are the same things, um, but it's like super comfy. It's meant to give you the feeling that you're walking barefoot. And this is perfect ground, perfect soil for that kind of uh, trail. It's one of the best parts of the park, in my opinion, because you're given a good amount of shade, right? It's not too bright, it's not too hot, and you get a really good just view of all the trees, all the plants, different types of bugs. Interestingly enough, I don't know if I can get a good angle over here, but 
these boardwalks are built around the land itself. You're given a platform. They don't dig through the ground. They don't uproot anything. Hence why it's curved. You get all these like turns. They work around the trees, around the plants. Now, unfortunately, because it is Florida, we have a ton of mosquitoes, especially in areas like this. Now, it just rained recently, and because of the rain, there's large bodies of water, and that's where the mosquitoes love to thrive and reproduce. So, at the time of recording this, I've already been bitten about, I wanna say, four or five times, maybe. And it's just, it's just so itchy. I always forget to bring mosquito repellent, but I also don't like mosquito repellent. It just has a really bad smell to it, and it sticks to your clothes for like a really good while. There's a little bit of information regarding the fern trail. So you got some bracken fern, giant leather fern, uh, swamp fern, and shield fern. Looks like we're getting to uh, more of an opening in the trail. You can see there's much more sunlight breaking through. This is really pretty. I should also mention that the Florida weather right now is actually being very generous. It's, it is a little bit humid, but it's not too hot. It's not hot. It's very bearable. And these past few recent days have been a little bit on the cooler side, thanks to the hurricane. Yo, so uh, as I was recording this video, my phone ended up dying at the park, which is why we are back at the house. Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? I think that works out for us because I can also show you guys the Lems Boulder boots and just do a little bit of uh, comparisons between the Boulder boots. Don't you feel a little ashamed? And the Chelsea's. And one similarity that bo these both have as well as I want to say every other Lems shoes possibly is the treading. Um, it's not too deep which means that you're not gonna be getting a very good grip on the floor if it's slippery. I did take these boulder boots with me to Salt Lake City a few months ago, and my buddies and I hiked up this one tall mountain that was covered in snow, very icy, very slippery. Um, I did end up falling on my butt a few times, but that being said, I didn't suffer any ankle injuries, and that's because of the lacings and just how it's sort of like a high top boot. That's the difference between the Chelsea's and the Boulder boot, is that the Chelsea's is just gonna have the elastic band, which makes it easier for you to slip your foot in here. You might risk having some kind of ankle injury or foot injury um, if you do take these in snowy or slippery areas. Uh, whereas with this, Kind of takes the upper hand. Uh, then again, you know, these both have issues regarding uh, tread and getting good footing on things. Either way, I think both of these have very good comfort and cushioned soles when it comes to uh, long distance walking or going in more, a little bit more intense trails, such as Ensign Peak, which is where I went to. Price-wise, these are both gonna be about the same. I want to say 160, around the 160, $160 to $180 um, area, which honestly, you will be getting the best bang for your buck with these, uh, between these and Timberlands, or any other hiking boot company. Um, now, if I had to choose between the two, which would I take with me on trips, I would have to go with the boulder boot. These are kind of a pain in the butt to kind of like take out during TSA, but I'm, I'm okay with sacrificing the time it takes for me to put these on to feel a little bit more confident in my footing and making sure that I won't have any ankle injuries um, should I go hiking. And this is pretty much gonna wrap up the video. Guys, if you liked what you saw, um, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate all my viewers, all the new subscribers that are coming in, all the interactions that I've been getting with people in the comment section. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I started this whole channel and even my blog with just trying to help people go into the right direction when it comes to products and giving very honest and unbiased reviews regarding these things. Um, I do hope to do other kinds of uh, content such as like, you know, more walking around, um, more exploration, um, kind of having more topics, things to talk about when it comes to these things. If you guys have any ideas of things that you think I should try out, any products, uh, feel free to drop a comment below and I will do my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Um, thank you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, Editor Aramis, just figured I'd drop in here real quick in case you're still uh, at this point in the video. Um, I just checked Lems's website to see if there's any new updates regarding Boulder Boots, and it seems that they just dropped a new model. It's called the Boulder Summit. Um, it also is waterproof, just like the standard original Boulder Boot and Chelsea's as well. Um, and it seems like the biggest difference that they've got going on in this model of the boot is that it has a deeper tread, meaning that it might be able, it claims on the website to take on um, snow, mud, slush, etc. Um, something that was seeming to be a challenge regarding the previous boulder boot. Um, honestly, I am considering making a purchase maybe in the near future, maybe in my next upcoming trip, I don't know when, but uh, I will definitely put it to the test, and I will let you guys know what I think about it. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.